well let's uh, go ahead and uh, perform the dc of uh, the dot dc simulation of the half wave rectifier that we were discussing in the last tutorial so towards that end let me open this lts files window okay and you can open the file that you have saved from the last term swr and this is the circuit file that we we wrote on the last term and i have explained all these things and uh, well so we have represented the circuit the only thing is the type of analysis that we want to perform there is one more thing that you want do that you would like to understand it is the plus sign here so in fact whenever you can rep whenever you can uh, represent it in one line there is no need of this plus so you can remove this plus and uh, take it back to say here and you can remove this plus sign but sometimes uh, when lines are very longer i mean when you have say here there are 20 or 25 parameters but when you have uh, say hundreds of parameters it will not uh, be in one line so this this plus sign is just the continuation of this line so a spice will see this line second line as a part of the first line okay so in fact uh, i can always uh, write something like uh, like this uh, with a plus sign so this means that there, there is a vs voltage source vs between node n and zero its value is zero so this plus sign is for continuation of line also, if you want to have inline comments, for example, I, I told you that if you have to write some comment, so you can do it by this uh, dot star, so diode model. And if you want to have inline comment, you can do it, do it by here. So just write semicolon and then diode. Uh, Instant, instant solution or something like that. So inline comments is written by this uh, is should be preceded by this semicolon and in between the lines you should proceed it by uh, a star. So the type of analysis that we want to perform is dot DC because we are interested in the VTC. Whenever you want to draw the VTC, you have to do this type of analysis dot DC. And the name of the source that you want to ship, so you can see it here. I want to ship VS. I want to ship means to change. So I want to change the VS. So I will be changing my source VS from say initial value of uh, minus two volt to the final value of say two volt. And uh, there should be some step. Otherwise, you see, between minus 2 and 2, there are infinite many points and it will not be able to, I mean, perform analysis at every point. So, what we do as we do in the lab, right? So, we apply V1 and find the corresponding output, V2 and find the corresponding output. So, that this difference V2 minus V1 is basically the step size. So, if you have too many steps, for example, so the curve will be very smooth but the time for simulation will be very long so an optimum point for example in this case would be uh, for because we are working in terms of uh, say volt so millivolt will a step will be adequate so i will write one milli dot dc vs i am sweeping my input voltage source from minus two volt to two volt in steps of one millivolt so it will perform dot op basically operating it will calculate the output at minus two and it will then calculate its output at minus 2, minus 1 m and so on and so forth uh, up to 2 volts and that is it and then the last line is dot n let us save this circuit file and let us uh, run it so when you hit this running man this window will pop up and uh, you just max you can maximize it from here and then you go to plot setting add trace or you can press ctrl a add trace i want v out i mean output voltage of output voltage at node out with respect to ground and then left click here v in okay so you can see that i am changing v in linearly and output is changing like this let me remove this uh, 
be in for this moment. So let me press delete button. So a scissor will pop up and then click on this be in. Click means left click and press escape to come out of this mode. Okay. So you can see the change. You can see the change. For example, ideally this was starting from zero, but due to non-zero turn on voltage of diode, it will start from here. Okay. And also the characteristic is smooth. You can see. So this uh, completes uh, tutorial on dot DC. I'll explain more on it in the next tutorial. Thanks.